Well, I've had a lovely, lovely, hot, long bath. made a nice cup of coffee. Enjoying this very mild, beautiful uh, winter's day here in the Vachau in Austria. Big blessings to you guys, wherever you're watching from around the world. <clears throat> For me, Rory Alec, another Spirit Soul Body vlog. And um, <clears throat> yeah, hurtling is the right word into the new year 2020. What does it have in store for me, I wonder? I think that's every one of our questions is what will this year bring? My prayer, my hope is a spirit, soul, body blessed year uh, for me, for Corolla, for my family, you guys, wherever you're watching around the world uh, who love spirit, soul, body vlog. That this is a year of breakthrough, this is a year of blessing, this is a year of knowing Him more. Yeah, I think that's my one clear desire for 2020, which by the way I, I, I feel strongly is, is the beginning of seven years of plenty. And I take that from the biblical sense, which you can read about in the Old Testament where Joseph happens to be there, he he interprets a vision for Pharaoh, which basically is that the next seven years will be seven years of plenty. And it's a time of preparation for the following seven years, seven years of lack. But I strongly feel in my spirit, this is what I feel the Lord has told me, is that 2020 through 2027, 20, 28 is going to be a time of plenty. Uh, I'm weighing into and I feel very strongly that I need to press in and find out what does he mean by plenty? Certainly the, the, the world we live in today is, is full of ups and downs and really extremes in so many ways, uh, good and bad. Perhaps it's seven years for sharing Jesus with the world. And I think that's something that I believe is sure is the, is the central tenant of that. Followed by seven years of lack, what could that mean? I'm not sure yet. So. I'm really finding myself as I start January 2020 that I'm going to go into a time of uh, really pressing in to him and seeking answers for that specific unction. But it's a very strong impression to me and maybe it's for my life. Maybe it's for what I'm going to experience over the next 14 years. You know, I, I talk to many people as I prepare for new vision, a spiritual body vlog is growing. I want to take it from one vlog a week to three a week. Uh, that will take more help, more people supporting me. I definitely cannot do it as one person. I need someone else, at least another two people, who can help me edit and pull all of these things together. I don't think many people realize how much time and energy it takes to produce these vlogs. But the vlogs are, are a small part of, as I say, a piece of my life. I'm also currently working on a business plan for a much bigger project, which I've shared sort of in... In, in, in sort of camouflage tones on some of the vlogs over the last year, which I'm very excited about. Uh, the studio will be finished at some point. I, at the moment, what I'm finding myself doing is I'm finding myself having to do tent making, which is fine, I like it. I'm also uh, planning to, to, to launch the daily video pod class. <laughs> I need to have a sip of coffee to get my mouth working this morning, I'll tell you something. A daily video podcast, <clears throat> which is what I'll use the studio for when I finally get in there. Monday through Friday, calling it the daily grind. I know, it's been a long time coming. I mean, many of you have been watching the vlogs over the last two, three years. Two years, actually. Not quite three years. Maybe not even quite two years, but in the last 24 months, I've talked about daily grind, which I'm excited about. And there's certainly a lot to talk about. 
but I've been waiting. I've been waiting for the right feel. I don't know if, if it works the same way with you, but it has to click. It has to be, ah, that's the way it should be. And I literally woke up, I think it was last week. You know that time before you're fully awake and where you're coming out of that sort of deep sleep, there's that, there's that space where in some ways things become very clear in terms of, of and maybe it's a, it's a, it's a connection and, where your, your your mind and your physical body is not quite engaged in terms of being fully awake and you're coming out of that dreamlike state but I um, last week had a very clear understanding of how to do daily grind which is great I was like yes at last I've got a fairly clear direction on what daily grind will be so uh, long term I have a great idea of what daily grind will grow into that's the visionary in me but um, how you start and, and what's the priority to him and you hear me referring to him often I love Jesus he's he's my Lord he's my Savior I've walked with him for many many years in my previous work season for 20 years I was in full-time ministry as chairman and chief exec of, of the God Channel which literally grew from a kitchen table into multi 24-hour television channels going around the world and 2020 is the beginning. It is, for me, I feel strongly this is the beginning. This is the beginning of, the, of this new vision season. The last five years I've been seeking the Lord. I've been pressing in. I've been renewing the mind. I've really looked into Rory Alec myself. Who am I? Why am I? Um, it's been a journey of, of moving into a more authentic faith. Is your faith not authentic? I think we all are in that process of, of, of seeing our faith and our, our walk with the Lord purified. I could talk the talk, but I didn't always walk the walk. And I think that's critical in this next seven years is that we who believe in Jesus really not only need to talk the talk, but actually we need to walk the talk. And I think that's been something over the last four or five years that I've really been pressing into. Having said that, I've also gone through my moments of childlike rebellion fighting with him you know but at the end of the day the goodness and the mercy of God his love is always wooing me closer to him drawing me in and I'm eternally grateful for that anyway I ramble on here sitting on the balcony enjoying this delicious cup of coffee so 2020 and I think very strongly in my life there's the next seven years of plenty a time of great fruitfulness a time of harvest a time of breakthrough a time of extraordinary opportunities and I think specifically for the body of Christ those who love Jesus and are part of his body going out there and really in a genuine authentic power from above way share Jesus with those who are desperate for answers I think I've in my 50 something years living on this planet I don't think I've ever seen such a divided humanity I have, people are so divided and people are so um, aggressive uh, in so many ways, you know, it's just an extraordinary world we're living in right now. I mean, knowledge is, is rapidly advancing on all fronts. But I also see intolerance also rapidly advancing on all fronts. I mean, politics has just become plain nasty in so many ways. It's just, in a, in a sense, we've lost our adultness about it and become very childish, is what I'm seeing. Uh, you can't really believe what you hear on the news anymore it's very hard to find authentic voices you need to go to the internet more and more and more and even that is a danger so we live in a world that really is crying out for for truth and not a subjective truth i'm talking about an unmoving truth and that's difficult of course you know that's very very difficult so i think between pouring out his love and also as Christians, we need to literally be vessels of his power. Very powerful interactions with people where beyond their intellect and their minds, on a spirit level they feel him, and then in the physical realm they experience his power. Supernatural miracles is what I'm talking about. And I don't think we see enough of that in, in church today. I don't think we see enough of that in Christianity. And I know that Jesus himself displayed tremendous works of power. Those works of power interrupted the norm of the day and challenged people to, to, to stop and listen. I mean, imagine you come to hear this, 
this, this, this spiritual speaker talking and you're sitting on the hillside and he takes two, two fish and five loaves, blesses it, thanks his Father in heaven and then hands it to his disciples and they just keep feeding and feeding and feeding until they've fed 5,000 men, not to mention women and children. I mean, that's power, that's displaying power. And um, in the next seven years, I believe very strongly that you're going to see Christians manifesting by His will as they share the good news, as they share it in a gentle spirit, as they share it in a loving spirit. Yes, and in an uncompromising way, there will be demonstrations of power that will support their words. And I think that's what we're going to see more and more of. Uh, around the world. I think we're going to see outbreaks of extraordinary power. Now, don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean to say there aren't people right now who, as they share the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, and as they walk and they share their faith, the Holy Spirit's working with them and, and demonstrating the, with, with signs of, of, of power and miracles. For me, personally, it's knowing Him. It's It's not moving one centimeter to the left, not moving one centimeter to the right. It's not making any real decision of my own on his behalf without his saying so. And what I'm saying is nothing new to the Christian community, but I just find that for many, many years, I didn't live it to the fullest that I could or should have. Oh, and I'm far from perfect, so. <laughs> There's no human being on planet Earth that does it 100% correctly. I'm just simply saying on this vlog, that the focus for Rory is, is, is to know him more and the focus for Rory in 2020 is to not move unless he says move and not to say unless he says say um, and to really press in and for that it has to be less of me and more of him in me and I think that's going to be the challenge for this year. A challenge why? Because uh, I'm fallen flesh, I'm human rebellious at times, want to do my own thing. Um, I think it's the challenge that faces all of us is that we want to be our own boss. We don't want to conform to anything or anyone and yet there's not one of us on this planet who doesn't serve something and someone. Take a moment and think about that. Everyone on this planet is being conformed is having their belief systems tampered with in some way, shape or form. It's a question of who do you choose to serve? Who are you following? Um, that's the great question for billions on planet Earth right now. Uh, and I think that's where we who love Jesus and who know Jesus. And that's not us going out there and forcing Jesus on other people. That wasn't his way. That was never his way. What he did was he put out his word, he declared his gospel, he spoke his truth, he shared his father, and he did it with signs and wonders following. And that convinced many, many to follow him. It also convinced many to crucify him. And I think that's what makes Jesus the most extraordinary is that once crucified, he was resurrected. Rory, how do you know he was resurrected? I know he was resurrected because the 12 that followed him plus the other 120 were up in the room praying uh, after they thought he'd been buried forever, experienced him coming into the upper room and displaying himself resurrected with again signs and wonders following. And then um, the testimonies of so many who saw so much thereafter and coming back to the Twelve, the fact that the Twelve were prepared to die for their faith, horrible deaths, all of them except the Apostle John, all eleven were crucified, horrific deaths. And, and I don't care who you are, you don't just lay your life down for something that is not a truth. And again, it wasn't just their laying of their lives down, the fruit in their lives and the fact that today there are hundreds of millions, maybe more, I don't know the exact number who are passionately in love with him and filled with his spirit. In other words, they're more in love and more connected to God than they are to the church. And I think that's the critical thing. There are so many traditional Christians today who are connected to the church but don't know God. They don't know the head of the church. They just are traditionally, culturally engrafted into the church. So 
2020 is going to be an extraordinary year. It's going to be a year of um, personal breakthrough, a year of seeking him, a year of saying, Lord, I don't want to move forward without your leading me, your guiding me. Yeah, I don't fully know what this year is going to be in actuality. I can only walk by faith and, and take each day as it comes. And that's what I intend to do. My prediction, for what it's worth, the next seven years are going to be a tremendous fruitfulness. Uh, seven years of opportunity. Seven years of plenty will be followed by seven years of famine, seven years of tough times. Is what I believe. I might be completely wrong, but that's the strong unction. You know, one can get into one's own strength and do things. Just because you've done it for 20 years means that you're actually quite capable that you could do it again. But are you going to do it in your own strength? Or are you going to do it in obedience to his leading? And I think that's my goal. My goal is to do it completely in obedience to his leading. Just over a week ago, we kicked off the new year and um, the, over the last seven days, I've spent a lot of time in Salzburg. I'm also working on uh, my tent making, which is video productions. I've got three video productions this month. All of those things take my time and my attention, which is one way frustrating. And I'm also sort of saying, okay, I feel strongly that things have to kick off, but I need to be released in that as well. You know, So we'll see what the Lord does. The good news is I'm alive and kicking and <laughs> there's a lot of exciting things that are coming up and I know I'm sharing from my perspective but I have no doubt for you as well be encouraged he loves you he's passionate about you so let him come in deeper let him come in closer let him have more of a say in what you do and how you do it and um, I'm not talking about religion here I'm talking about relationship and I guarantee you he he has good things in store for you. I didn't say it would be easy, but definitely good things. Um, so we'll talk more about all of this. I just thought I'd grab a cup of coffee and sit down here. Oh, by the way, did you see my flowers? I'm so excited about them. We've got a little lemon tree there that's grown from seed. So I'm looking after him. He's just going in leaps and bounds. We've got a green plant that has red leaves and green leaves. I have no idea what it is. It's a, it's a well-known flower, so if you do know what it is, put it in the comments. I love nature, but I'm not, I've never taken the time to really study it and understand what all these different flowers and plants are. You can see Basil Boy is flourishing. He's very happy. We've got this lovely old Chinese fig, which was given to Carola and I by her colleagues at the university as a wedding present. Looking after him, he's doing very well. Needs a haircut, by the way, for sure, totally. Christmas tree's got to be taken down. It's the last day for the Christmas tree. Uh, and that means it's the end of Christmas. So this is the way life rolls. So I'm sitting here on my balcony. It's a beautiful day. Thanks for hearing my heart. And watch this space because there's a lot that's going to be happening. To seven years of plenty coming up. This is my opinion. This is what I think. And it's going to be followed by seven years of lack. I pray not, Lord. Let Rory be wrong. We'll find out, won't we? That ends this lots of talking vlog. The last couple of vlogs I've done very little talking, if any. And I thought today I'd balance it out a little bit. So, love to hear from you guys. Please remember what you can do on the Spirit Soul Body vlog channel. The thumbs up, looks like this, but on the screen. You can like it, you can share it. And uh, I really appreciate you tuning in every week. Thank you very much. If you're watching on Facebook, send this link on to somebody else. I, I would appreciate that. And I'll catch up with you guys soon. So from me, Rory Alec, ciao for now. Bye-bye.